Hi guys, this is your girl Vaughn, aka Blended Beauty. Welcome to the channel. So today guys, we will be talking about purchases that I made from a mini haul that were complete fails. Also, we will be talking about upcoming giveaways as well as an update on the pamper box and a little bit about my trip to Las Vegas. So, if you would like to see and hear what I have going on in this video, you know what to do guys. Keep on watching. Alright guys, so I took my products that I purchased from my mini haul with me to Las Vegas I decided let's just go ahead and start using some of the things that I buy so I left all my regular my faves at home what a big disappointment a big no-no the girl was toe up in Vegas okay so first let's talk about the products that I purchased from the Dollar Tree okay so if you watch, I think it was my last video, maybe the video before that, where I purchased from Hard Candy the Baked and Bright Set Loose Powder. Okay, guys, this powder, for me, it had underneath my eyes orange, guys. Orange, I mean like orange. It was cakey, it was powdery, no matter how much I put on. I mean, I put the bare minimum. I even tried it with a... A dry brush and then I tried it with using a damp sponge it just would not work it was just orange now I can say maybe for darker skin you cannot use this uh, maybe on a brighter skin person you can you know and it works out for you but it didn't work out for me at all and the craziest thing is I tried this um, before I left I didn't go anywhere so it looked okay in the lighting in my bathroom, but I guess it was orange then. I just didn't pay it no mind because I really wasn't going anywhere. Uh, but this was an absolute no-no. And now that I'm looking at it, if you can see, in person, it does look orangey. But if you know, you're know looking at it on camera, it does look kind of like yellow, banana kind. It's not, it's now that I see it, it is kind of orange okay so also from the Dollar Tree I got the Revlon fresh stick foundation stick I bought three if you if you guys remember but I took with me mocha and espresso espresso so I can actually contour right so I use this which is you know the amount of the product is not bad for a dollar so I took mocha and I decided I was going to use this as a all over foundation now it is too dark but once i contour and you know and highlight and stuff that will fix that problem guys i put this on it was oily greasy i look like a fresh box of church's fried chicken i was greasy oily everywhere it was so embarrassing it was nothing i could do with this however the espresso um, I did contour with that, and because I did bring my uh, press powder, I was able to set that, and that was okay. But for the overall look with this, it didn't really help because it had my whole face uh, oily, greasy. So the fresh stick that you get out of the Dollar Tree, um, I'm going to have to say I was not happy with this at all. I was not happy with this at all. So it was a dollar, so is no big deal also from one of my hauls from the dollar tree i picked up the la uh colors this is their cover up pro concealer stick this is the lighter one this is the darker one mm. let me tell you guys i put this on it would not blend out for nothing when i say no it would not this is all that i brought guys what i'm showing you to vegas so I used it with a brush first and um, it didn't work. It just made it patchy 
it was patches on my forehead, underneath my eye, my chin, down the bridge of my nose. There was nothing I can do. So I decided that I was going to use a wet sponge. That just made it worse. It would not blend out for crap. So I was really sick because this was the only two concealers that I bought. So once I got it to a point that I say, okay, it's okay. I then went in again with the powder. Because remember, this is the only powder that I brought. It... Not only did it look like I had something going on underneath my powder, it just looked like maybe I um, had some sort of rash or something going on because now you see this patchy looking thing and it's kind of like flaking up or whatever. And then you go in with this powder, this orange, that's cakey. When I tell you I looked a hot mess, I looked a hot mess. So I said, okay, I cannot use the fresh stick. So if y'all remember, I ordered from Sephora the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Caffeine Concealer and Foundation. Mm. I always wanted to give this a try. This is just my experience, guys. I don't know about yours. This had me orange. It oxidized. It was oily. It was disappearing. Um, so it didn't give me much coverage at all. It transferred very, very easily. So... From the eye up, I look like a raccoon. And then from down below, I look like a candy corn. Because I was this orange here. Then I was another orange here. But we're going to get to the eyes where I tell you I look like a raccoon. Okay? So, you guys know I wear lashes all the time. So, I decided I wasn't going to take the lash glue that I use all the time. I'm going to try out the absolute which is more expensive this is their 3d eyelash um adhesive in black so i took this with me first of all <laughs> it would not hold the lashes so i'm down in the casino it's the first time i tried it down in the casino i had this really cute outfit on hair done really cute thinking everybody looking at me because i'm looking cute no uh-uh mm -mm. i did not even realize that my lash had lifted and it was up here guys y'all it was stuck up here i went in the bathroom i was so embarrassed so i had to wind up snatching them off and you know when you snatch them off time you have that little blank space with a line at i had to run upstairs try to use it again because this is the only lash glue that i brought i don't care how long i let it get tacky i don't care how many times i reapplied it the lashes would not stick so I had to wind up wearing no lashes and just mascara the whole entire time. Not to mention that for some reason it was running. So it was running down here and it was like black. And I'm like, why? I just that's where the raccoon come in at. That and the eyeshadow. Okay, so I decided I'm only gonna take one palette and I'm gonna take the Summer Glow um, Mini Summer Essential Set. All right. Okay, so look here. I took this set with me, all right? Because I didn't want to do too many looks. I want to do something simple, and I brought, you know, one just for a little color because I did have pink and all that on. All right, so you get four in here. So I just did the basic look for the eyes uh, using this set here. The, the pencils for your eyes, okay? So this is what it looks like. It's just the four here. Guys, I'm down in the casino. Did my eyes look perfectly fine when I left my room? By the way, I was staying at the MGM Grand. By the time I got downstairs, guys, maybe walked around maybe like an hour and a half or so, went in the bathroom to freshen up. One eye was completely gone. The other one, it was barely there, creased up. Then I took the brown here to go around here. <laughs> Between the eyelash glue and when I blew out my lower lash line, I looked like a, a complete raccoon. So now I'm dark around the eyes, a bright orange underneath the eyes, and a darker orange. I looked a mess, guys. I, I mean, I looked a mess. Now, if you guys remember, I did a haul on... Um, I think it was Amazon eyeshadow palettes. 
And I picked up the Sash Lady. This is the Reborn Be Everything Born of Fire eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about this. So when the pencils didn't work, I decided I was going to use this. I only use, it still probably look new because I only use the brown here. I use this uh, shade here and this one up here. So I didn't use very many shades. So anyway, it didn't last long, guys. It did not. First of all, I had a hard time getting it on to begin with. I had to lay down some concealer so it can actually pop and show up. Um, but by the time the middle of the day, it looked like I was losing more of the shadow on one eye than the other eye. The only thing that stayed is when I blew out the lower lash line. Um, but then again, it, that was like fading. So I'm going to have to say this right here to me is a fail. I don't know about the other colors, but if the ones that I use, the rest of them perform like this, it doesn't last all day. It's going to come off. And then it takes quite a bit to get it to actually to show up when you're applying it. So my trip to Vegas, as far as my makeup, was a hot mess. A hot mess. I had to, thank goodness, I had to, uh, I was able to hide behind my mask. Now I was jacked up from, you know, from what they can see up here. Then I had no lashes. I didn't bring my good mascara. It was messed up. So, those are the fails that I purchased. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, update on the Pamper Box. Because I've been on vacation, I think I've been going, what, seven days, eight now. I'm behind. So, I'm going full force on that this week. And I will be um, getting those out into, on PR and and. and for a giveaway, you know, giveaways as well. So I, I'm i back in and I'm working on it, okay? All right, guys. So the next giveaway, I will be giving away. Um, I wasn't for sure if I was going to do drugstore, uh, if I was going to do Amazon cards. So I think I'm going to go with the Amazon cards. That's going to be the next video. Now, if you uh, didn't watch my last video, why don't you, you know, go on down and check it out because... I'm talking about all of that in there. So I will be um, having a Amazon gift card giveaway um, the next video. Okay? And then all the other giveaways, I think it was a drugstore. It was um, giveaways from the casino perks uh, and uh, some other things. Just watch the video if you have it. Okay? Also, guys, um, let me tell you about my trip home. Before we left, I told my daughter, I said, whatever you do, do not put us on spirit. What did she do? She put us on spirit. Now, I don't know if you guys heard in the news about spirit canceling all their fights. So, once we got in Sunday, four of us came in on spirit. The other two flew southwest. No, southwest in American Airlines. Okay, so, then Sunday when we got in, we landed. I said, around noontime, we started hearing people talking about Spirit didn't cancel the flights. They can't get home. Or we didn't worry about it because, you know, we just got there. So this went on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I'm like, uh-oh. Sure enough, they canceled our flights. They canceled all flights out of Las Vegas. So no refund. Can't get them on the telephone. The airport jam-packed people mad trying to get home. People was just sitting in the lobbies at the hotels. I mean, couldn't get home because people didn't really plan for that. So, my daughter and her husband, they found a flight on Delta, which we had to leave a day later, which means we had to stay in a room a day later, what they did. Okay, so Dennis, he found a flight two days later on Southwest. I left two days later on South, uh, no I didn't, on Frontier. Um, by myself, everybody else had gone, so I'm still there at 9.30 at night. Let me tell you something. I would never fly Spirit, nor would I get on Frontier. Frontier remind me of Soul Plane. It was the most ghetto, ratchetest flight back home. The people on there was ridiculous. Not just one, but everybody. It was almost like they was having a party. I, I just could the, the flight attendants could not get them under control. 
I'm like, just let me land and get home. I, it was a mess. I'm telling you, it was a mess. Las Vegas is just, well, I got to take another trip. <laughs> I got to take another trip. I didn't even get to see the whole strip. I wanted to see David Copperfield. Boys, the men were there. So it's just so much to see. I did get to go to a lot of different hotels and experience a lot of different casinos. Um, yeah, but when uh, when that happened with Spirit, you know, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I'm like, okay, I didn't know y'all meant me. I want to go home. Um, didn't want to cry and lick anything. Nothing. But between the food and just at night, it's just so beautiful. Um, when I say food, too. Now, I know people told me, girl, them buffets, you're going to find buffets for $7.99, $8.99, $10.99. I don't know what buffets they're going to because not one buffet on the strip was less than $50. Um, matter of fact, the one that I really liked was at the Wynn Hotel, and that was $65 per person, but it was laid out. I mean, the presentation is almost like you didn't even want to touch the food. It was just really nice. So I plan on going back again. I want to go when it's cooler because waking up to 107 and by the day of 110, you're hot. Well, guys, that was my trip to Vegas. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot more, but I don't want to make the video too long. But I will be going back again, but not on Spirit. And sure, not on Frontier. All right, guys. If you did not smash that subscribe button coming in, please consider smashing it on your way out. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.